How you doing, Aaron Reed, world's tallest bodybuilder, coming at you live down here at Critical Bench. We're gonna talk about some cable chest work here, okay? Uh, a couple things to uh, be considering when it comes to, you know, your cables is the starting point, okay? That's, that's the most important thing, you know, where you put the arms, you know, whether they're high or low. I typically like to have them higher than I am, okay, which is tough. Sometimes I gotta I maneuver myself. <laughs> but uh, the idea is when you grab the handles, <clears throat> you want them high enough so that when you step away, there's already tension. Because the idea is you want tension the entire time, okay? Now, I like to have one foot forward and one foot back. This keeps me from moving forward and backward. If you put your feet together and you start pressing, you might start leaning forward and backward uh, more so than you will if you do it like this and you get stationary. Okay, again, we're gonna apply kind of the same tactics we did with um, our dumbbell presses uh, with the cable. So the idea is starting point is here, okay? Keep a bend in the elbows. When you come back, I want you stretching. It's all about a stretch. This is a shaping exercise. This is not a mass builder, okay? It's a shaping exercise. It's gonna bring all the definition in your chest, uh, you know, make you look nasty, okay? So when, you come, when you're coming together, you want to keep that bend in your arms and you want to really focus on pulling your elbows in, okay? That's really where, what, where the tension needs to be. Now, one of the things I'm going to touch on real quick is if most people, when they're doing this, they just want to move the weight. They want to move the weight, you know? So pace is, pace is important. So you want, to, you want to set a pace where you're, you're really feeling this contraction the entire time because it's, it's about shaping. It's not about the weight, okay? It's about shaping and feeling it, right? Beyond that, you want to make sure where your shoulders are. If I put my shoulders forward every time that I, that I contract and flex, my shoulders are forward, you get more delt out of it. Anterior delt, front delt, whatever you want to call it, okay? But if you come and you pull your shoulders back, and pinch your shoulder blades a little bit, you can see that my chest is activated a little differently and a whole lot more full. So now I'm pulling with my elbows and I'm getting a better contraction for my chest. So that's what you need to be considered of. You know, it's, it's great doing these cables. I don't know if you guys remember Bowflex back in the day, but uh, that was the one thing I loved about the Bowflex machine was that it was like constant tension. And that's what you have here with a cable. This is the difference between a cable and a dumbbell. A dumbbell, there'll be a point where there's no tension because of gravity. With the cable, um, just like that Bowflex, it's pulling on you the entire time. So cables are really, really, really beneficial to work into your uh, training regimen when you're trying to build you know, more definition. We appreciate you stopping by, you know, and just for coming to our channel, we want to give you a free gift. So if you're on a laptop or something at home, just scroll down to the description box, click the top, top link. It's uh, going to say criticalbench.com slash Arnold, and it's going to give you this kick-ass uh, free report with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It talks about like his life, his, his movies, how he, he really just knocked it out of the park, um, and you know what makes you know him so amazing. I'm a big Arnold fan, so if you are, you're going to enjoy it as well. If you're on a mobile device, you got to click the little arrow, and then the description box comes down. Then you want to uh, click the top link there. <clears throat> Be sure to like comment and uh, subscribe. But uh, definitely some comments. I want to hear what you guys think. Okay. I want to hear from you. Thank you.